Okay, students, here's your um, assignment. Isaiah 11.1, 1. I want you to tell me what this first part means. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. Now, I'll give you a hint. This is a prophecy of the Messiah. But who's Jesse? How does Jesse fit in with Jesus? Tell me that. If you don't know, you can go to Bible Hub or you could probably Google that easily enough and figure it out. I do want to point out that our tradition of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit are included here in Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, meaning this coming Messiah, this, um, this shoot from the stump of Jesse. The Spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the Spirit of counsel and of might, the Spirit of the knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord, meaning, I think, piety there at the end. That's where we get our tradition of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. And the rest of this is powerful stuff, and a little child shall lead them. It might have sounded strange back in the day, in the 8th century BC, but it makes much more sense now. The other thing I wanted to point out to you is we're now looking at Paul's letter to Titus. And Paul is talking about what an overseer must be. That might be the, tr the translation in most of your Bibles. The word for over overseer is episcopon, which literally means one who looks over. But episcopon is, is in effect a bishop. Now, um, well, here, I'll go to the bottom. I shouldn't have come all the way to the top. For the bishop must be blameless. Ellicott is using whatever translation that is for a bishop must be blameless. He's using the Douay Reims Bible there. So the word episcopon could be translated as bishop because Paul is talking about presbyters, elders, and bishops. He's talking about, in effect, priests and bishops. Even though Paul is writing these letters within a generation after um, Jesus' lifetime, so that we see here the establishment of overseers who um, carry on the authority of the apostles. In these letters to Timothy and Titus, Paul is preparing Timothy and Titus to be overseers and to ordain others. So we see the apostolic um, succession. We see the authority passed on from Paul to these other men. And we have other evidence from the church fathers that the basic structure of the church of bishops overseas, S-E-E-S, -E -E or dioceses, bishops having this authority over local churches is something that's almost from the very beginning. We certainly see it in the letters of Paul. So you know your assignment, do that, and let me know if you have any other questions or comments.